and welcome to another bedtime story. Happy first day of spring. I'm gonna read a book in honor of the first day of spring. Even though we got snow this morning, it's a little cold. Hope you got to go out and build the last snowman of the winter time. This book is called It's Spring. I run outside in thin pants and short sleeves. No thick heavy winter coat bundled around me. I skip and leap and feel light and free. Fresh air rushes all over me. A little chilly today for just a t-shirt. Creeks and streams are starting to flow. We hear the trickle of melting ice and snow. Then one day, pitter patter, splitter splatter, rain pours down, creeks and streams rush and gush again. I dip my boot in a puddle, just to see how deep it is. Swish, swish, watch this, curse splash, it's spring. We find tight, pointy leaf buds on bushes and trees. I peel one open and see the tiny beginnings of fresh new leaves. I find some pussy willows, they look soft and sleek, I rub one gently against my cheek. The ground is growing soft and warm again. There's a clean, fresh smell in the air. We find tiny new green growing things everywhere. Animals that slept all winter are now waking up. Earthworms, frogs, turtles, snake, beetles, and ladybugs. One day we spot a robin, then soon we see red-winged blackbirds and a bright goldfinch. Early in the morning we hear the birds sing. They cheep and warble and trill. It's spring! Birds fly here and there with grass in their beaks. We watch them building in nests in trees, getting ready for new families. Squirrels line their nests with sticks and dry leaves. And here, in this hole, are new baby bunnies. Ducks quack to their ducklings and geese honk to their gosling gooselings. All soft and fuzzy and out for a swim. If you look really close, you can see the baby bunnies in the hole. Day by day, I watch flower buds grow and swell. Soon they burst open into bright daffodils. So sunny and cheerful they make my heart sing. It's spring. Ferns uncurl, leaves unfurl. Tree branches that were bare now have tiny green leaves. It's time to plant seeds. Corn, cucumbers, beans, peas, and my very own sunflower seeds. The days are getting longer. Now the sun sets after dinner. Outside we watch the sky turn slowly dark and count the stars as they come out. Then all the spring peepers and bullfrogs sing. It's spring. The sun shines longer and the days grow warmer. One day I notice that all the trees are covered with full grown leaves. Soon it will be summer, but right now, it's still spring. I blow dandelion seed fluff and watch it float away. Dragonflies dip and dart every which way. I leap in the air, there's new life bursting everywhere. Come out, smell the flowers, hear the birds sing. It's spring. Some nature activities this book gives us are you could go outside and watch some birds flying. You could help by looking for different baby birds or bunnies that are in your yard. You could put out a bird feeder. You could listen to the birds sing. 
Maybe you can try to find different kinds of birds and their songs over this next couple of weeks. You can take pictures of different animal f animals that you see. Maybe document if you have a journal that your teacher gave you this week. You could take a picture, make a little collage. You could plant a flower garden or draw a picture of one if you'd like. You could find some new leaf buds. You can take a nature walk and see if you notice any streams that are starting to run. Lots of different activities. And there's plenty more things that you can do with the first day of spring. So I hope that you get a chance to go and take a nature walk, see some beautiful signs. 